Hey guys, welcome back. So, if you are someone who are using computer on a daily basis, there is a big chance that you are using a text editor as well. So, there are many text editors out there. Those are pretty good. I mean, there are many text editors out there and those are good. But every person has his uh, preference. Okay, so in this video, actually, I'm going to talk about the, the text editors I have been using or I have used in the past and what I think about them. Okay, so uh, for this video, I'm using uh, Firefox as my primary browser. So uh, if you are in front of your computer, you can go ahead and check by yourself. So just uh, go to Google and look for the best text editor for general usage. You know, there are different reasons why a person uses a text editor, right? Uh, for example, for web development, for software development, for um, keeping notes, and so on and so forth. So I am just here um, looking for a text editor for general uh, use on a daily basis. So when you look for it, you will probably uh, going to get uh, a bunch of a list of uh, text editors that are uh, that are used uh, uh, by the people mostly. So among uh, those text editors, as you can see, the Sublime text at the at the right at the top of the list, and then we have Atom, we have Notepad Plus Plus, and then Copy, Cop, and TextMed, Beam, Ultra Edit, Coda, and so on and so forth. There are many others as well, I believe. Uh, I have used. Or I have been using top three of this. Okay, Sublime Text, Add-on, Notepad Plus Plus. All of these text editors are installed in my system. So, what do I think about this text editor? So, first of all, um, when I first time used Sublime Text, it was an instant crush. Okay. So, but the problem is that if I go to the official website, so if I open another tab and type in sublime text so if you get there uh, actually you can download this text editor for free and definitely you can use it for free for a while and after that you have to you will be notified to uh, purchase a license for your text editor otherwise your security are um, kind of like questioned okay so uh, I believe you get my point like it's not 100% open source project so uh, definitely it's a great text editor I have used it or I have been using it for 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 over two years couple of years now and my feedback is it's a 10 out of 10 text editor no doubt about it okay, but the thing is when uh, your free trial version is over you have to get a license okay? otherwise there is a big chance that your security I mean the content you have uh, or content you uh, create on their text editor is highly volatile okay so that's one reason actually this is not one of this is one of my favorites but this is not the ultimate favorite text editor for me okay so what about the notepad plus plus notepad plus plus is a great text editor i have used it i mean i have been using it for so long i mean i even cannot tell you for how long i can use it uh, or um if i if i say that this notepad is the uh, only only text editor that a person who uses a text editor who owns a computer to not know about this is the only text editor everyone i believe every person who uses a computer knows about okay so this is uh, used pretty vastly around the world and they have so many versions out there so if you are uh, uh, i mean just Try to do general things in your text editor, writing contents, writing basic stuff, or keeping notes. Just use it. Download it. It's a great text editor. 
for web development as well okay so uh, this is another one but what I do not like about this text editor is that uh, if you want to support the ultimate uh, web development features you have to install plugins okay so you have to install plugins in order to make it uh, uh, a better text editor so what about the atom text editor okay so atom is by far my favorite text editor okay among these three i used vim uh, or i use vim from time to time not, not very often though so uh, i'm not talking about vim in this video but atom is my favorite text editor among these three why is that first of all it's open source if you get there you download you install it in your system and you start using it for pretty much anything or for any purpose okay and it has support for other platforms as well so if you get there you will find your uh, just let me show you briefly uh, if you get there they have that uh, repository which is uh, open source and you will find I mean, I mean pretty obvious that you will find uh, your your West version of this notepad as well so they have Linux version they have Debian they have um, a Mac Windows everything so just get grab grab yours and install it in your system and so what's good about this text editor so okay first of all uh, I have to say that this is not sponsored video by anything by any any of these text editors it's free that's my personal opinion what I think about it and should you be installing it or should you don't do it or, or should you not do it so the best thing about it if I talk about the web development so it has built-in macros okay it helps you to get rid of that um, bulky boiler plates right off the bat so if you are someone uh, who does web development or software development uh, professionally you can use it actually atom is one of the one of those text editors who allows you to use it professionally okay you can build professional great things right inside it okay and also you can use it for general usage like keeping notes or uh, writing down or making lists or something so on and so forth so that's the best thing about it you will find a whole bunch of packages are shipped with this text editor okay this, these are these are built-in things okay you don't have to uh, uh, install plugins to make this active acti activate to activate these features okay so with that being said that's pretty much it probably in the next video we'll um, explore something else something better something more interesting so that's all for from this uh, video and that's all for now thank you so much for watching if you have any feedback if you have any thing to share if you uh, have any idea about any better text editor just write in the comment section so that i myself can try that as well so thank you so much for watching see you next time goodbye